Howdy folks, this video is about a month overdue, but my word is my word, and that's all a man has besides his name. So in order to keep my promise, I will be making another tier list. This time, instead of focusing on no gi slash gringo jujitsu, I'll be creating a tier list on gi specific submissions. Now, before you get your panties in a wad and say, where is this submission? Oh dude. You're so stupid for not including this one. I will say, I've already covered a lot of submissions in my no-gi video and really don't want to repeat myself. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right on into it. This is a tier list for gi submissions. First, starting off with the bow and arrow choke. This is performed by grabbing your opponent's own collar from behind, typically from like back control, and using it to strangle your opponent, uh, similar to pulling back a string on a bow and arrow, hence the name. Whenever I attempt this choke uh, from the back, I kind of imagine it's the same feeling you know sharks have when they're zeroing in on on baby seals a tier second we got the barata plata although this sounds like some weird salsa dance this is actually performed by trapping your opponent's elbows between your legs and applying pressure uh, by moving to the opposite side <coughs> this submission fits perfectly in the triangle arm bar omoplata rotation uh, setups are really from everywhere pretty sick move hard to hit though probably because i i suck uh, so C tier. Up next, we got the straight arm lock. If you've watched any of Mika Galvao's matches, he's an absolute savage hitting this on top level jujitsu athletes. The straight arm lock is when your opponent's arm is uh, straightened. The straight arm lock is when you submit your opponent by straightening their arm whilst pushing the opposite of the elbow joints. It causes a lot of pressure on the elbow. Pretty much can attempt this anytime you have an underhook and just say F it. I'm gonna start ripping tennies. S tier. Next up, we got the banana splitter, or really uh, any groin stretching base submission, such as the splatal. You're not making any friends at the gym going for this, but I will say nothing is more humiliating than being stuck and stacked in the good old banana split. It means you did a bad job reading. Your opponent's smarter, more handsome, and likely more stronger than you. Uh, not to mention, it kind of exposes your, your butthole and snatch. Uh, to the whole gym. C tier. Following the banana splitta, we got the classic cross choke. This choke is performed by crossing your arms as you grab your opponent's collar and force pressure on both sides of the neck, thereby restricting blood flow to the head. Uh, although this is a classic choke, it's hard to hit clean on anyone with jujitsu brain cells because all they need to do is just fight grips. Don't hate me on this one. D tier. Next one up, we got the loop choke. This choke is performed by grabbing your opponent's collar, pulling it across their chin as you loop your hand uh, to the opposite side around your opponent's neck. These are nice for white belts to spam uh, to keep opponents honest when they have their neck low. Fun fact, the first time I got choked unconscious was from a loop choke. I thought, oh, I'm safe here. This guy's a bum. And then suddenly I teleported back to open guard with a plethora of teammates surrounding me asking if I was okay. Took me a couple seconds to process. Uh, just total shame. A tier. Up next, we got the returning I am your daddy submission, aka the Ezekiel choke. I will say this again, as previously stated in the no gi video. If you get Ezekiel choked, just go ahead and hand over the adoption papers to your opponent because they're your dad now. S tier. Following the adoption choke, we got the elegant baseball bat choke. Although this choke suggests the use of a baseball bat to choke out your opponent, it's sadly not the case. Would be cool though. Uh, this choke focuses on utilizing the namesake baseball bat grip on the collar of the gi and it targets both the carotid arteries and trachea. A pretty solid attack beat here. Next up, we got the tickety tockety clockety. Yes, that's the official IBJJF name, but for some reason, uh, some people call it the clock choke. Uh, this is really just a fat old man choke. Requires, requires you to put a lot of pressure to finish. Uh, because I'm not a fat old man yet, this is a this is a D tier. Will likely change as I get older. Put on some LBs or some kilos if you're European. I'll be with you soon, boomers. I promise. D tier. Next up, we got the Bravo choke. Not gonna lie, I thought this was called the Bravo choke until I made this video. Learn something new every day. Bravo. I swear people call it Bravo. Am I delusional here? Somebody tell me in the comments. I don't know if I'm saying it right still. Uh, this is pretty much a, 
a gi specific version of the Dars. Solid go-to and side control, B tier. To finish off, we got the Tarico Plata. Uh, this is pretty much a shoulder crunch submission uh, that you typically go for uh, when your opponent's in double unders, uh, trying to stack pass you. Similar to the Barada Plata, uh, however, I think it's slightly more effective that I'm gonna go B tier. Okay guys, well, that was my Gi submission tier list. Hope you all enjoy- Hey, you missed one. What's that? You missed the best submission of them all. The GOAT of all subs. Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten?